Hello everyone, my name is Anjali Markande and I am a computer science engineer. Today I will discuss about control flow statement in Python language. Basically, in every programming language in this world support this control flow statement. Firstly, questions arises why need to take control flow statement? Okay, so because you need to take some decision on some conditions on a particular value. So let me say control flow statement. So it is a basically conditional statement for a decision making. So the decision is described to the computer as a conditional statement. It can be only answered true or false when your condition is a true and when your condition will be false okay so python python language provided the following conditions statement like if statement if else statement if elif else statement and next is the nested if statement so first we discuss if statement so it is also used for decision making operations it is contains body of code which run only when the condition if statement is true. It means here the conditions here check on the condition. The condition will be true. So execute the condition conditional code. Whenever the condition is a false, so the exit from the code. So firstly, here the syntax. If if text expressions here if is a keyword and text is a variable expression is a conditions so here the condition will be true go from the statement execute the statement block okay here the some examples of a equal to 33 and b equal to 200 so if b is a greater than a it means 300 is greater than A. Yes, condition is true. So, simply print the value B is greater than A. Okay. Now, here, let me see another example. If the number is a positive, we print an appropriate message. Okay. So, here, num equal to 3. And if condition is a num greater than 0. So, simply print num is positive number. It means 3 is a greater than 0. Yes, condition is true. Print 3 is a positive number. Here the output will be. And now next is print. This is a always printed. This is always, always printed. Okay. Now next one another num equal to minus 1. And here check will if num is greater than 0. It means minus 1 is greater than 0. Condition will be false. Here, this code will be not executed. This, this condition is the wrong. So, this, this code will be not executed. So, simply print. This is always be printed. Okay. So, this is 3 with the output. 3 lines will be output. So, now another discuss about if else statement. So, it is also used to execute both the both part if the condition will be true and another is a condition will be false here the given condition if condition is true execute the if block and here the condition will be false so else block will be executed here the diagram will be so conditions check on a condition if condition will be true go from the sorry here condition will be true execute the a block statement where the condition is a false execute the else block so this is a basically if else statement so now the example of if else statement here if sorry a equal to 200 and b equal to 32 if b is greater than a it means 200 is a 33 yes condition is true so print sorry sorry 
a a will be equal to 200 and b will be equal to 33 if b is greater than a mean 33 is greater than 200 no condition will be false this this statement will be not executed here the as dog will be executed so simply print b is not greater than a okay so now another another example of if statement simply check when your number is even or odd okay so now user user to we take a number so we use num equal to int input num enter a number user enter a number so if state condition will be num remainder to equal equal to 0 let me suppose enter a number is 8 8 remainder to equal equal to 0 yes condition is true so simply print 0 is a even number or number is 8 okay when take another example 9 suppose user enter enter a number is 9 Okay, nine remainder to equal equal to zero. Condition will be false. So simply print one is odd number and number is nine. Okay. So now another reason nested if statement. So nested if statement are in if statement inside another if statement. It means if side another if statement. When firstly condition is will be true. Go to the next condition. When condition will be true, so the go to the statement block. Whenever the condition will be false, so go to the statement. Last of the statement. Okay. So uh, let me more understand through example. So example of nested if statement. Okay. So here, here. Let me suppose user to enter a year. So if year remainder four equal equal to zero, it means we um, take some year is a two hundred. Two hundred remainder four. Two hundred year is a leap year or not? We'll be check about. Okay. So if two hundred Sorry, two thousand remainder four equal equal to zero. Yes, condition will be true. Go to the another if statement. So if two thousand remainder hundred, yes, condition will be true. Another go to the if statement. If two thousand remainder four hundred equal equal to zero, yes, condition will be also true. So simply print it is a leap year and year is what two thousand. Okay, let me take another example. It means one one hundred sorry one thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Let me enter a year. So simple. First, if one thousand nine hundred ninety nine remainder four equal equal to zero, condition will be false. This if statement executed the body of this. So this is a not a leap year, and year is a one thousand nine hundred ninety nine. So now, next one is a if elif else statement. Elif it means it is a the com combination of if and else statement. An else statement contains the block of code that executed. If the condition expressions will be false. So the execute the elif statement, okay. So now example of if elif else statement. So let me check. We take the three three numbers and check the which number will be greater than, okay. So here num num equal to ten. Num two equal to fourteen and num three equal to twelve. So if sorry, num one equal to ten, num two equal to fourteen, num three equal to twelve. If num one is greater than equal to num two and num one is greater than equal to num three, it means num one is what ten.
10 is greater than equal to 14 condition will be false it means it returns the value of 0 and num1 is what 10 10 is a greater than equal to 12 condition will be false it will be return the value of 0 0 and 0 will be written 0 so this statement will be not executed so this is statement okay now another statement is an elif statement if the condition is false go to the elif statement okay so here elif is num2 is greater than equal to num1 it means num2 is about 14 14 is greater than and equal to 10 yes addition is true return the value of 1 and next is a num2 is greater than and equal to num3 it means 14 is greater than and equal to 12 yes addition is true so 1 and 1 it will be written 1 it means 1 is true so here go to the large equal to num2 num2 is what num2 is a 14 so simply printed the value the largest number is 14 okay so now another we take another example okay so where let me suppose as a variable 100 if variable is equal equal to 200 it means 100 is equal equal to 200 condition will be first go to the here elif statement okay elif statement next elif statement is what where equal equal to 150 means 100 is equal equal to 150 no condition will be false this statement will be also not executed now another is if where equal equal to 100 it means 100 is equal equal to 100 yes condition is to go to the here and simply print 3 got a true expression value and value is 100 and then last is goodbye print it okay so this is the output so now another thing is repetitions So the repetition is a repetition statement are also called loops and it is used to repeat the sum code multiple times in section and a for loop it is used for iterating over a sequence like list, tuples and dictionary and we can also use to execute set of statement okay in the python language we offers three major set of control flow statement like for loop, while loop, break loop, continue and pass. So this is a repetitions. So now first thing we discuss for loop. So the for loop is a it is a ordered set of programming statement and this is loop used for Python. So the for loop is a started from the here this is the starting from the here and check the sum conditions and here the use the sequence sequence it means range given the for given the loop is a range so check the range whenever the range is a outdated so the terminate this loop and here the sequence or the range is the true so this loop will be repeating or repeating so this is a for loop now we take syntax for value in sequence sequence it means we are given the range and here the range is true so execute the body of for loop okay like some example n equal to 4 and the for i in range 0 to n 0 to n it means 0 to n means n minus 1 we take 0 0 is the initial value and n is a end, end value okay so simple 0 to n n is what 4 4 mean n minus 1 means 3 3 times 4 times will be executed it means 0 to 3 times 
printing 0 1 2 3 okay this is a for loop we need we discuss another example of for loop so python program to print number from 1 to 10 using for loop so for i in range 1 to 11 we, we print 1 to 10 means one number will be extra means n 0 to n plus 1 okay here will be not take the value of 0 here take the value of 1 so print 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is printing the loop so now Another is to check the number is a prime or not. Okay. So firstly we take now number uh, user through the input. Okay. Yeah. Num equal to int input enter a number. So if num equal num is greater than equal to one, it means we take some number is 7 okay 7 is a greater than 1 yes condition is to go to the here for loop for i in range 2 to num it means i is the initial value is what i is the initial value we need 2 okay 2 in range 2 to num mean 2 to 7 okay so if num num means 7 7 is remainder to equal equal to 0 conditions will be conditions will be false go to the this condition will be not printed here directly execute the body of s statement so execute the body of s statement so print num is a prime number means 7 is a prime number so here simply print 7 is a prime number we take another example like 407 okay use it through enter 407 here 407 is greater than 1 yes condition is 2 and the for i in range 2 to 407 okay so i is 4 to 7 equal equal to 0 so means 407 remainder 2 equal equal to 0 condition will be 4 so this is also a prime number so like 6 6 is a not a prime number so this is a simply check prime number or not yeah next is a while loop while loop it is a used to iterate over a block of code as long as the text expression is a true it means the here start from the loop Yeah, here yeah. start from the loop, go to the here, check the condition where the condition is a true. So the statement of the box, if statement or body of y means this condition will be true, the execute the body of y. So this is a repeating and repeating whenever condition false, so the exit from the loop. So this is a while loop now here the syntax is a while text expression while is a keyword and text expression is a also condition so here where the condition will be true execute the body of while so now the example of i equal to 1 and while i is less than 6 it means 1 is less than 6 condition will be true so the print printer of i firstly we print the value of i is what 1 okay now the next code is a i equal to i plus 1 so i is the firstly initial 1 1 equal to sorry i equal to 1 plus 1 it means 2 i have changed the value i is a 1 to 2 means now the next value is i is what 2 so again check 2 is 2 is less than 6, this condition will be true, print the value of i is 2. Again increment the value, 2 plus 1 is 3. This code will be executed when the condition will 
when the value of i is 6 i equal to 6 it means while 6 less than 6 condition will be false so that this loop will be terminated so simply the output is a 1 to 5 okay yeah so here why do base we check the number is armstrong or not okay so first yeah. so first armstrong number is the firstly entered a number let me suppose and number is a 663 we check sum equal to firstly we check sum equal to 3 Firstly, the value is a sum equal to 3 and then 10 10, 10 equal to num 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 means 663 so the 10 initial value is 663 while 663 is greater than 0 yes condition will be true and then again go to the here digit 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 equal to 10 10 remainder 10 it means 663 remainder 10 it what it means it means only 66 will be sorry 3 will be written so sum equal to sum plus digit asterisk asterisk 3 it means sum equal to sum sum is the initial value 0 0 plus digit is 3 equal asterisk asterisk 3 it means 3 multiple times of 3 means 9 so this is a first link and now next code 10 10 equal to 10 divided 10 means 663 divided by 10 it means written the 66 value another check the value 10 10 the value is what 66 66 is greater than 0 this will be condition will be also true go to the here digit equal to 10 10 the value is a 66 remainder 10 means written the value is 6 so digit is what 6 so now sum equal to sum plus digit asterisk 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 sum is what sum is initially 27 plus digit is digit is written the value 6 asterisk asterisk 3 so this this is this code will be again and executed if check the condition if num num means 663 is equal equal to sum then num the value is equal to equal equal to sum the value so this is a armstrong number otherwise this is a not a armstrong number so here the 663 is a not a armstrong number okay so now another is a break statement this is a in this python terminate the current loop and resume execution at the next statement just like the the traditional break from the C. It means where the condition will be executed and here the condition will be true. So the terminate the current loop and again resume the execution of the code. More understand the example of break statement. Okay. So here for letter in Python. Okay. If num one by one we check the letters if letter equal equal to h it means first first python p python p p is equal equal to h condition will be false so here break so here this condition will be executed and print the current letter okay so print the current letter is p okay now again next y y is equal equal to h condition will be false so this loop will be executed t is equal equal to h condition will be also false again go to the here h is equal equal to h condition will be false condition will be true so the break and print the remaining sorry remaining letters it means here Firstly, print current letter P by T. So this is a when the condition will be true. So so terminate this condition. 
now the remaining letters will be printed like p y t okay so this is a break statement simple second example will be very equal to 10 so y 10 is greater than 0 so print value current variable value is 10 so where equal to where minus 1 it means 10 equal to sorry where equal to 10 minus 1 is 9 if where equal equal to 5 means 9 equal equal to 5 condition will be false again go to the here and check and check where is 9 is greater than 0 condition will be uh, sorry print when the value is the current value will be 9 this condition will be again and again when the condition when the value is a 5 5 equal equal to 5 terminate this this if statement and simply print the value of 10 9 8 7 6 okay so the remaining remaining numbers and last is print goodbye so this is a simply break statement it is also like a like c language So now the continuous statement. Continuous statement. This is a, this is statement in a Python. Return the control to the beginning of the while loop. The continuous statement reject all the remaining statement in the current iteration of the loop and move the control back of the top of the loop. More understand the example of continuous statement. So here we will also check for letter in python if letter is equal equal to h it means p is equal equal to h so the continue condition will be false so the continue this is y is equal equal to h so here output will be show i here p y t o n means here the here h will be not printed and this all remaining this all remaining letters will be printed okay like p y t o n here the, the condition will be this condition h will be true this statement will be not printed and another remaining letters will be printed so this is a simply continuous statement now another another second example is where equal to 10 and y where is greater than 0 means 10 is greater than 0 yes condition is true so where equal to where minus 1 means 10 minus 1 is 9 so if check 9 is equal equal to 5 so the continue and print current value the value it means here is here will be also not printed the value of 5 and other remaining value will be printed so this is a continuous statement here we see current variable value is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is an output. So now next one is pass statement. The pass statement in Python it is used when a statement is required syntax leave but you not do the you do not want to any command or execute the code so the pass statement is a null operation performs here simply example of pass statement for letter in python it means if letter equal equal to h means p firstly we check p equal equal to h so the pass the value and print this is a pass block and here i show you output p y t and then when the condition will be true so the current letter will be printed so firstly print p y t and then now this is the pass block and then remaining h o n okay so this is a pass statement and last last one is print goodbye 
okay so this is the output we made and thank you for listening me